Thanks, Mike. I apologize to all of you, and I apologize to Boyd that I can't just do this off the cuff because I wouldn't hit on all the different areas that he attacked me if I relied on my memory. And I hope I can contain my emotions. But uh, I'm, I'm apologizing for reading this. When we're done, I'm going to walk away and create that apology. Uh, how do we begin to say farewell to someone who is nowhere close to the completion? of all his goals and aspirations, yet he had accomplished so much along that journey. Someone who was a triple threat, an artist, an entrepreneur, a family man. Someone who was an inspiration to so many people. Dwight Kirkland wore several hats. I can picture him wearing the beret of an artist during his 52 years creating masterpieces on canvas. Next, I see him topped in a feathered fedora, that of a shrewd businessman. Always finding ways and means of turning those paintings into revenue generating products from canvas to circus tents to puzzles to mugs and collectibles to lithographs and finally to murals as big as four story buildings. Lastly, I find him sporting the ball cap of a rural Pennsylvania family man, having found a wife for life and co creating two beautiful children, dropping anchor in the Juniata River Valley after wandering the country for decades. My friend Dwight Kirkland was dedicated to all three missions in his agenda of life. However, number one was family. His wife Kay, his daughter Aubrey, and his son Nicholas. He expressed amazement that he found such joy, such a purpose in life, such an abundance of love to give and to receive, dropping forever roots, abandoning his years of wanderlust, and lack of commitment to anyone or anything. At age 40, Dwight Kirkland began to live life he had no way of knowing would bring him true joy and genuine happiness. Dwight still had painted girls and golf during his tenure traveling with a circus. He painted everything, from posters to billboards to backdrops to tent walls. Returning to traditional canvas, left him longing to tackle huge projects, outlandish challenges, bringing art to thousands of people. Thus was born his concentration on airbrushes, scaffolding, ladders, scissors, cherry pickers, all the while learning the secrets of painting on stucco, bricks, cement blocks, concrete, and wood. When your bride or your family and your love's art, out of necessity, you must acquire the ability to manage all aspects of your career. You're not only the artist, you're the entire, entire labor force. You're the bookkeeper, the marketing director, the scheduler, the salesman, and the complaint department. Dwight was continuously finding ways to reach potential clients, searching for grants, raising funds, working social media, sending promotional materials, submitting drafts and bids, and crafting news releases. He was on the cusp of achieving great celebrity nationally, already greatly admired and revered locally and regionally. Recently, he accomplished a giant personal milestone by leasing this space right here in the Milton County Industrial Development Corporation Plaza for his office, gallery, and indoor climate control workspace. This would allow him to work on projects year-round, regardless of weather and traveling conditions. Although he spent significant new overhead expenses, he ventured that a consistent stream of revenue could be maintained. Artists most often live from project to project, never seeing a regular paycheck, and rarely carrying health insurance or life insurance or contributing to a retirement plan. In the planning process, in various stages of development, were three local mural projects. Six panels on the outside wall of this building. Six panels that were three separate vignettes. And these were going to be dedicated to the history of war in the United States. Starting with the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War I, World War II, the Korean conflict, and the Vietnam War. Permission from MCIBC was pending in the chamber, but it instrumental in the fundraising initiative. Preliminary steps.
inspection for done the mural to honor first responders. When we did the mural under Victory Park, we discovered that we were honoring veterans, but we were missing on those dedicated volunteers in our community. And he wanted to be sure that we remembered them because they stopped and talked to him when he was pain. We were scouting the locations for that such mural. Also in discussion was a mural location in Reedsville as a gateway into the Big Valley. White loved this scene to the Outer River Valley, full of God-given good nature and good-natured citizens. He saw us on the way to being the small town and rural capital of Pennsylvania, a gift to us locals and a major draw for our position on the tourism map. White was a highly regarded friend of the Chamber of Commerce and the Visitors Bureau, and to me personally. He possessed the gift of incorporating self-deprecation in his amusing storytelling. He engaged folks with his arresting smile by making them feel they were the only person in the world at that moment. I was blessed to know White for about a few years, but he impacted my life in very significant ways, as few have done. His death brought me to my knees, showing less than a handful of such past experiences. I could fill a book with my conversations and observations of what would constitute the summation of my joy having experienced White Earth. I cannot express enough sympathy to Kay and to Aubrey and to Nick. Your sorrow is shared by more people than you can ever imagine. This Earth will be different forever without White Kirkland sharing space with each and every one of us. Farewell, dear friend. Farewell, dear friend. I speak for many when I say we love you and will always miss you. There's a real me existing in this room. It's an elephant in this room. The family is facing a financial brick wall that we can all help alleviate. Accounts are in place to accept donations at the Judy Outer Valley Bank offices and at the Standard Steel Credit uh, Union office in Burn. The family wants to share White's art with everyone here today. On these tables are many items, everything from coffee mugs to Christmas stockings to lithographs. All want reproductions of his original paintings, which are being retained as his legacy for Audrey, Audrey and Nick. Please take a home a keepsake to remember White. Donation baskets are there if you uh, can feel the ability to assist the family through these tough times. The Chamber of Commerce and the Visitors Bureau will be planning a tree at Fountain Square Park in White's memory along with an in-ground marker. We also pledge to place plaques on the Kirkland murals so future generations will know Dwight Kirkland, the artist, the Juniata Valley, the legend, and celebrity. Thank you.